What is going on, people? Back again for another review, if you couldn't tell by the title. Uh, today, in Jersey, it was raining all day, so what I do today, I stayed in and watched a whole bunch of movies, and this is a review for one of them. Uh, it's called The Wolf and the Baby. It's put out by Anti Films. Um, it's uh, written by William Bigos and Nicholas uh, Mozak. Again, if I mess up the names, I apologize. Uh, it stars DJ Costello, Lee Buss, uh, Dan, um, definitely Buschetta. Again, I'm horrible with last names, so I do apologize, among many others. And pretty much this is a low-budget horror comedy movie. And I'll tell you, it's, you know... One I wasn't expecting. First of all, it's 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 longer than you know most independent films that I've seen at least uh, you know in a long time. It's about I think it's like an hour and forty something minutes. Um, so it's definitely a lot longer. I was very surprised. I kept watching and watching and watching. I'm like, oh, this this is still going. And you know, it had enough content in it to um, to you know keep me in you know interested. Pretty much what the whole plot line. Of, is about is um there's a baby born and it, it has to do with you know uh god and the devil and stuff like that it's like a religious almost reminded me of like a um constantine kind of movie uh not exactly constantine but like good versus evil kind of deal but there's good evil and like evil er i guess you want to call it because not only is there you know uh god referenced and jesus and all this and the devil but then there's this other being that you know uh the people who follow that kind of laugh at the devil worshipers and call them you know weak as well kind of deal uh so pretty much what it starts with is this guy talking about um there's a baby going to be born and to fulfill the prophecy they have to go and get this baby and such and uh throughout the movie it follows different uh people uh santa claus chris kringle is in this um uh, then you got this guy that worships this, like, being. Again, I don't know what exactly the being is. Uh, but then there's this other guy called, I think it's Pumpkin Patch or something. And then this doctor called Dr. Stern or Spleen. Dr. Spleen, I think it was. And, um, you know, it's pretty much following uh, these guys on the hunt for... Um, this baby and it takes place in different places I think Kansas was one of them Jersey uh, it's actually a film uh, you know a uh, production company or whatever out of based out of New Jersey so I think that's you know pretty cool I'm a little biased as well I'm from Jersey so I do have that you know opinion of you know Jersey people I'm definitely gonna give it to them more but um you know throughout the um, throughout the movie them trying to get this baby different things happen where uh, different characters run into each other and it's very it's hard to say because to tell you the truth like I said there's different storylines going on in it let's just say there's a uh, a little elf um, a I, I found it funny because uh, the one person who's supposed to be carrying this you know baby that everybody is after is actually a guy who who doesn't talk at all he kind of just like 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 nods and like mm -hmm, like with not, I, I can't even say it's not like whistling or whatever but he doesn't talk but it the this person has like psychotic or mental telepathy kind of deal where you can you know without talking you can talk to someone kind of deal and the voice inside of this person is actually a woman so you know when they when they pan to him thinking it's actually a girl talking, so I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, that's what I was wondering, because I didn't know it was, you know, uh, a comedy at first, because I'm like, is this like a mess up? But then, as the movie went, I'm like, this has to be, you know, like a horror comedy kind of deal. And uh, there's this little elf that hel is helping Santa Claus get back to the um, North Pole. Um, there's a guy that makes out with a... Uh, uh, blizzard mask at one point in this movie so it's definitely all over the place i it's so hard i don't want to hit on every point um but it's definitely one if you're like into those independent uh horror comedy movies or in into any horror comedy at, at that it is you know rather funny um there's sometimes where this sound quality um like when uh the one elf was talking uh 
the guy doing the voice. Sometimes it was hard to understand what he was saying, and then it would go in and out where you can understand and when you couldn't. So the, the, every once in a while, the, the sound quality was, you know, um, not all the best. But to tell you the truth, I mean, the picture quality uh, was definitely clear. Whatever they shot it on, it was like, you know, clear as day kind of deal. Um, the acting was, you know, pretty good at parts. Uh, you know, it was definitely one of those things where uh, you can tell sometimes the voice was overdubbed on certain parts of the movie. But, you know, I'm not going to, you know, fault it for anything. Like I said, it is, you know, these low-budget films, um, you can't get the best out of everything. But for what it was, it was definitely, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. I laughed. Uh I don't know if it still is, but I did watch it on their YouTube. They had the whole movie streaming for free. Uh, Anti Films is the uh, YouTube channel. Again, I don't know if it's still up there. I saw it this morning. Um, so definitely go ahead, go over there if you do want to see it. I don't know if they're selling it anywhere else. I, I should have been, you know, up on this, but I wasn't. This is kind of like a spur of the moment kind of deal review. Uh, but it's definitely, you know horror comedies if you're into that it's definitely you know certain parts had me like questioning what is going on and other parts i was you know laughing hysterical so it kept me in the loop it has you know an interesting storyline going through um the entire thing um you know here and there you get these cool gore scenes like uh gunshots and all this stuff so that was pretty cool um i say definitely had if they still do have it there for free why not just go ahead check them out you know, spread the word, um, and if I find out where, you know, they may have it for sale or where you can purchase it, I will, you know, post it down in the, uh, the credits, uh, the credits, the comment section or the info sec section, wherever, uh, wherever I will. But again, go ahead, check out The Wolf and the Baby by Anti Films. Um, again, I think they have, uh, they should still have it up on their YouTube channel. I'll look for that and then I'll, uh, I'll, uh, Post a link to their YouTube channel there. Uh, they do have an Instagram. They do have a Twitter. So definitely go ahead. Uh, check out them. You know, like I said, um, I'm trying to help out these, you know, indie-based um, or indie production companies or just, uh, you know, uh, filmmakers as best I can. Like I said, my audience isn't the greatest, but, you know, I meant the biggest. You guys are the greatest. But, you know, I don't reach as many as some of these other people but I try my best so again if you're into horror comedy check out the wolf and the baby uh, again I'll leave the link to um, their YouTube page on the bottom and uh, yeah I do have two other movies I want to review because I, I did uh, watch a few of them so until five minutes from now or whenever I post this next video I will see you